What's up guys? So, uh, in my last video I was drinking and I said that I was having trouble with plastic pistols, blocks, MMPs, whatever. You know, and I didn't get bashed for that video, which is pretty cool. I guess it hasn't hit the trolls yet um, that I was actually being serious. Uh, well, actually more so with Glock, you know, and I'm a Glock guy, guys. I'm a fucking Glock guy to the bone. But I just had a couple bad Glocks, you know, what can I say? And, you know, steel guns can be bad too, you know. It doesn't have to, it doesn't mean that, you know, all, you know, steel guns are the way to be. But I just wanted to have steel guns, you know, or aluminum, whatever. And I'm about to show you some of the stuff I picked up, you know. Uh, so I sold some, some plastic pistols, polymer, you know, be technical. And uh, so, I, okay, I sold some. And I bought a couple of really, really nice um, steel guns. And uh, the first one is my SIG Legion. Now, there's a story behind this. See, this is this is a beautiful fucking gun, guys. Sig Legion 226, D Cogger. And uh, no, I was, I was messing with these guns, so they're they're all empty. But you know, so D Cocker. Okay, so here's let me tell you the story. I bought a Sig 226 Legion single action only. Now, this is not the single action only. I went and traded it in because I didn't like the way um, the safety felt. It really wasn't my style. Um, but it had a really nice trigger. The trigger kind of sold me on it. And uh, and then, you know, I went in today and, you know, I, I bought a trade. I sold some more polymer pistols. And, well, I pretty much got almost full credit. I did lose a little bit, guys. You do lose a little bit when you go to the gun shop. It's the nature of the beast, and I know that, but, you know, I paid the price, so I got myself, you know, the decocker model. Why did I get this one also? Here's another thing. I got another one, another one today. Picked up 229 Legion. Now, you're probably saying, like, dude, you just dropped, you know, a shitload of money on, on these two guns, and yes and no, um, because I traded, you know, stuff that I already had for other stuff that I wanted, you know, so got the 229 Legion freaking sick this is, to me um, probably the, the most sexiest pistol that I've ever had um, you know, my favorite pistol was the 229 Enhanced I had the 229 Enhanced which was basically, you know, the same thing with the Beaver Tail, but it was a little bit longer and um and it was uh, just, you know, black finish uh, with an enhanced grip. And then when the when they made the Legion, you know, they shortened the beaver tail. They cut their a little radius out here, a little grip radius. Um, the checkering was a little uh, coarser. And they did a uh, checkering under the trigger guard, you know, to match the, the front of the trigger guard as well. Um, the cocky serrations on the front, that comes from the Scorpion models. The Enhanced and Scorpion models had that. So, you know, here are two badass fucking pistols. Legions, 226, 229. What more can a motherfucker want? Now you tell me that I'm having a bad day. Because I'm not. I'm having a really good day. Put the put magazine back in this one. Really, really beautiful pistols. Legion. I've always been a fan of SIG. A lot of you guys can go back in my videos. I had all the Scorpion models. Um, so I'm not uh, going into a new a new world, you know. The only thing new is I've never had the, the, the Legion models, which now I do. So I have a holster made for, for this one. See, I got made a holster with the light for the 226. So that's the holster that rides in. I've been carrying this. You know, I was carrying my single action one. Um, but like I said, today I traded and I got the, the decocker model. But if you uh, take this light off, which is really stiff on the 226. Take the light off of uh, the 226 and put it on the 229. It will still fit in the holster really good without rattling, which I like. 
because you know the mainly the difference is you know the, the trigger guards are all the same trigger guard to trigger guard is pretty much the same the only thing that the 226 has is about maybe three quarters of an inch um, longer on the barrel so basically it's not gonna fit all the way in it'll still it, it'll be about right there so you know it'll still, it'll still lock in trigger guards all the same and this holster was made give them a plug real quick on your six designs they've uh, really impressed me and they beefed up the design it's a single piece of uh, molded injected molded uh, plastic like the little um, pumpkins there I love Halloween to me those are pumpkins so I'll call them that really cool I even got a magazine holster for it, a magazine carrier so all right guys before I run out of time I love this pistol this, this is freaking sweet man get the light off of this one so once again really badass pistols peacocker models I had the single action the single action was great but it takes a little getting used to and I said well I'm already used to this peacocker style so Yep, this is what I picked up, guys. Really sweet pistols. Fucking love them. So, hopefully I'll, I'll be shooting them pretty soon on video. And I'll show you guys a little bit, a little bit more about them. Really, really sweet. Look at that, 229. I love this thing. To me, it's, it's a really sexy pistol. Really sexy, really nice. Handles, uh, carries well. And uh, I love it. You guys have a good one.